welcome to Ramblings with Rebecca. I have promised a Latin week during which we will explore random fun phrases that have suddenly become part of my everyday vocabulary, such as Lex Specialis. What is Lex Specialis, you ask? I promise I'll answer, but I'm not going to do it right now <laughs> because I'm going through a wee bit of an identity crisis. Okay, not really identity crisis. Um, but I'm applying for PhDs and it's confusing and muddled so I'm going to be personal on ramblings today and ramble about where my thoughts are in PhD and beg you that if you have any suggestions, ideas, comments, condemnations, anything, throw them my way. So, yes, the PhD. Hurrah! Uh, I'm looking at PhD applications, planning to apply Okay, more than planning. Going <laughs> to apply and focus my PhD within the UK. Um, we're just only there three years. I have three years of funding through the Marshall EPA program. Um, the United States Environmental Protection Agency grants Marshall scholars whose environmental work they like another three years after the two years of their Marshall um, for doctoral research. Um, so that's grand and fantastic. Very, very blessed. Um, so... All that leaves is where in the UK and whom and, you know, with which department and on which topic. <laughs> All right. Um, I've narrowed it down. We are looking at a DPhil in public policy from Oxford, a PhD in human geography. A DPhil and PhD are the same thing. Oxford just calls them DPhil because Oxford. A PhD in human geography from King's College London or a PhD in human geography from King er, from Cambridge. Those are... The three biggies. Um, but discipline, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Probably the single biggest factor influencing your PhD um, is your advisor um, and, and, you know, the primary faculty member who's guiding you through the whole process. Um, certainly where you live and which department you're in and kind of what the program is like influence and obviously your topic influences things. Um, but as far as the relationship that's probably going to make or break the most it's between advisor or advisors um, and PhD student. Um, that being said, obviously other factors are important. Um, I, on Friday, met with some people at King's College London who I know before through various water networks and that kind of thing, who I really, really love, really, really like, know I would have a fantastic time um, at King's itself and could do what I want to do, which is you know, food, water, the Middle East, environmental peace building and kind of tensions between the discourses of like securitizing the environment and the environment is something to fight over versus, you know, people who are doing really cool, interesting things on the ground. More on that topic later. And, you know, I've rambled about it a little bit. Um, as I was saying, though, so there are really cool people at King's and I know I could have a fantastic time in King's, except I'd be in London. And I know people are like, oh my God, London! I really am not a big city girl. I don't know that I would enjoy living in London very much. Um, so I'm really, but, but of course, if you live in London, like, you know, you have all of these fantastic opportunities and can go to conferences easily and, you know, hop on the airport in five seconds. Um, so I'm really, really battling this tension between potentially the best faculty for me, don't know if I want to live there, you know, is Oxford or Cambridge better kind of as a round off to the whole, you know, history of institutions where I've studied at, Blah, blah, blah. Oxford is just now opening its DPhil in public policy program. Uh, so brand new initial cohort. I have no idea whether or not it'll get in because they're only accepting three people. Um, but public policy would potentially be a way to kind of force me to be applied in my research rather than, you know, just climbing up the ivory tower further. So that would be really helpful and is tempting for that particular reason, right? Just knowledge that, like, I would be forced to see immediate... Um, government policy applications and have access to a lot of really cool uh, high profile people um, in trying to you know wrestle with those problems so that'd be good um, Cambridge human geography really really good um, and Cambridge it's really pretty I like the cities Cambridge is my favorite um, and some really cool interesting people there doing food um, as well as um, I, some really great Middle East now all of the three of them would be great I, like, I, I I don't know, this is probably, this is like, you know, tension of, you know, oh, do I want this piece of chocolate or that piece? Like, they're all going to be wonderful, but I'm still confused. I am moving forward and planning to apply for all of them, wrestling with, you know, best topics for each. But if anyone has any ideas, that'd be grand. 